In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the quick launch in Microsoft Project Online. I've kind of alluded to this already in my video that talked about getting started with Project Online, but I want to really focus in on it. So you can see right now, out of the box, you get about one, two, three, four, five different links. I've actually added this server settings in, which is a link that kind of takes me to the PWA settings. Same thing, the exact same thing. I'm going to show you how to adjust it. So from Project Online, from anywhere you are, you can click on the gear icon in the top right hand corner and click PWA settings. From here, you'll come to the PWA settings. If you don't see everything you see on screen, that means you have not been set up as an administrator. You have to either have your administrator do this or give you access to do so yourself. Here we can see in the look and feel section, the quick launch. I'm going to click on that. And what you can see here, and you see, I've actually added this one in. You can see all of the out of the box navigation here. And you can see some of it's actually been taken away. So you can see timesheets not displayed out of the box. Issues and risks isn't displayed out of the box. Status reports actually is, I removed it. So it's actually up to you. I actually removed it in my previous video, getting started with Project Online. Because I don't like status reports it's misleading. It's not a traditional status report that a project manager would be expecting. It's a means to go out to your team and get an update on what's happening with the project. So I always just get rid of that functionality. If you're going to do portfolio prioritization, which we are later down the line, you can switch all of these on. I'm going to do that for now. You can turn the reports on and you can turn server settings on. So basically, I turned everything apart from status reports. But what you should do is think about do you want to see timesheets? Is that a piece of functionality you're going to do? We'll talk a bit more about timesheets in a future video, but do you want people tracking time? It should be a pretty clear cut answer. You've probably got another solution for it, or you do want to do it. If you do, turn on the timesheet. Issues and risks. This allows the end users to see any issues or risks in the projects that have been assigned to them. That would be done in the project site. And you can see we did that in the project site templates earlier at this point in our video series we have a project site with issues and risks that we can assign to people so you might want to allow them to go to one central place to see all their issues and risks resources will take you to the resource center where we can get into some granular reports about what our resources are working on across all the different projects we'll get to that once we started building out our resource pool and getting into resource assignments that's it those are the settings that I would recommend portfolio prioritization we've turned that on if you want to use that take a look at my videos down the line about how to set up portfolio optimization for your projects if you want to see that turn it on if you want to turn it on down the line turn it on then you can always come back and adjust your quick launch that's a SharePoint term for the navigation down the left hand side of the screen which is the core navigation for projects online when I hit save and close you're going to see my navigation's updated nicely. One other thing that I like to do, if I ever get lost, I like to have a PWA home link. So what I'm going to do is up here, I'm going to take everything in the URL up to PWA and copy that. I'm going to add a custom link to my quick launch. I'm going to come in here and say new link. At the top of the screen, I'm going to call it PWA home. So no matter where you are, if people want to get home, you'll be able to do that. You can make it a new heading, or you can put it in under one of these categories. I'm not going to put it, I'm going to make it as a new heading and display it in the quick launch by default. See so if I put it in one of these categories, it would be like strategy where there's three subsections. Come in here, click it, and what I'm going to do is move it up. There we go, and save and close. And now I have my new link in my quick launch, which will always take me back to the PWA homepage. All right, when we're tidying up navigation, I'm always going to tidy the screen up. I'm going to remove this, get started with the project web app. You don't need that because you've got me to help you. Remove that, very clean interface. Alright, thank you very much. 